We're driveway camping and there's no 50 amp, there's no 30 amp, and it's 100 degrees. What are we going to do? We need air conditioning. Welcome to the channel. I'm Paul. And I'm Liz, and we have a really hot video for you today. We are full-time RVers. We've been on the road for four years, and we have a situation where we're in 100 degree weather, and we're going to talk about a new product out about how you can just plug and play and get air conditioning just with household current. Well, let's back up. If you're in a hot situation and you don't have 30 amps or preferably 50 amps to run your rig and you need to run an air conditioner, what are you gonna do? This video is about soft start up and let's talk about that and how awesome it is. Yeah, it saved our bacon. Let me just say that right now. We're on a 20 amp circuit right now. This device that Liz mentioned is enabling us to run one AC. We've been doing it for a week. So we are visiting our friends Mark and Ann in Montana in September. And Ann said, well, don't come too late in September because snow could come. So we decided to come in a little bit earlier in September and we are in a hundred degree weather. Now, if you've ever been in a camper, you will know that you must have air conditioning. These are little hot boxes. You cannot allow them to be without air conditioning because you, you'll die. It's like being in a tin can. Oh, yeah. yeah, without AC, you can't even walk into this thing. It, it is sweltering in here without the AC running. Yes, if you have a camper and you want to park it in, your, in front of your house to load it up, it's handy to have a product that you can just plug into your household current. This is literally plug and play. I mean, you just plug it in and you download an app on your phone and it's it's very simple we had it up and running in five minutes and so now we're running one ac on just household current of 20 amp 20 amp circuit so we did a video previously about soft start rv that's something that you hardwire into your ac units on the roof now yeah. what do you get with the soft start up that you don't get with the soft start rv that we love i've been geeking out on this thing it's an app that shows your current draw in real time i mean right now we've got almost nothing on so we're pulling one amp mm -hmm. um if i if i turned on the let me turn on the microwave right now yeah okay let me put in um yeah let me put in a glass of water so we'll demonstrate uh, with the with <laughs> the uh, a high current draw here we uh, go put it, the, show that show that on the okay so it is now up to 15 amps. I don't know if you realized it, but microwaves are huge current. Uh, they use a lot of uh, current. So one thing about RV life, which is kind of a new learning for a lot of people, is you become so much more aware of your electric usage. Because if you don't, your camper is going to tell you by constantly tripping breakers. Yeah, you're going to blow the breaker in the, whatever you're plugged into, or you're going to blow the blow breaker in the in the panel in your RV. Right, so now even using the soft start, you have to be aware that if you've got soft start and you're running an air conditioner on 20 amp, you do not want to have your hot water on electric. You probably don't want to run your microwave without first turning off the air conditioners. Like even when we run uh, my blow dryer, we yeah, make your sure. blow dryer is an example. Yeah, <laughs> it, it draws about the same as the microwave. You have to not run the blow dryer and the microwave at the same time. So the app in Soft Start Up shortens the learning curve, wouldn't you say? So you know yeah, exactly what right. you draw. Yeah, this is part of RV life that if you're coming from sticks and bricks to RV, you probably didn't even think about it when you had your house. You know, you just turned on whatever you needed to run and never gave it a second thought. The issue with running an AC on 20 amps is not so much the running current, because they run between 11 and, and 14 amps uh, when they're, once they're going, but they have this surge of current that they need to get the compressor going. It's known as inrush. It and could be 50 to 60 amps. Yeah. So soft start smooths out that initial inrush, mm -hmm. as you call it, mm -hmm. allowing you to do it. So last year we did the video about soft start, the wired in soft start product, which is called soft start RV. What soft start allows you to do, whether you install it in the air conditioners or you do the, the plug and play soft start up is that it allows you to driveway dock and run an air conditioner. 
Mm -hmm. you can run two air conditioners on 30 amp and there mm -hmm. are lots of campgrounds you've got these big rigs you generally need to have 50 amp probably you wouldn't be able to run three acs on the 30 amp soft start up you'd have to choose which two you wanted to run at any kind of time right generators so if you have a 2200 watt generator you can run one ac one ac if yes. you have a 3500 or 4000 you might be able to run two acs depends on the generator we have the harbor freight predator the 3500 we also have two 2000 watt i've run two acs on both of those and they will run for a while but it, when it gets super hot you know up around 100 degrees i noticed the amperage was getting over the limit so we had to just go down to one AC on the generators. So it depends on what kind of generator you have. You need to run a test. We've also noticed the hotter it gets, remember we're in 100 degrees, the hotter it gets, you've been watching the amp usage mm -hmm. and it's been going up because the air conditioners are working a little harder. Mm -hmm. As the temperature goes up, the, the current draw goes up. Some campgrounds charge extra for 50 amps, so you wouldn't necessarily have to have 50 amp with the soft start. We've never run into this situation, but I hear that if you stay in certain campgrounds, they charge you by the kilowatt hour. Well, one of the things that you can see on this app, there's a resettable energy number and a total energy number. The total energy is not resettable, but as the name implies, resettable is. So you could reset it to zero when you plugged into a campground that charges you by the kilowatt hour and make sure that you're being charged for the actual amount of current you're using. We did take these soft starts off of our ACs to make it fair because I didn't want to, we didn't want to do this video with the soft starts on and, and try to fool you that this device will do basically the same job. Yep. Let's talk a little bit more about the difference between the Soft Start RV and Soft Start Up. If you buy Soft Start RV, which is totally fine to buy it, and you're willing to do the wiring and all, know that you need to buy one for each air conditioner you have if you plan on using those air conditioners. So if you have three air conditioners and you want to say run one or two during the day and then move it to a third one in the evening you're buying three of those so it's actually cheaper in that way to get the soft start up mm -hmm. and also if you want to get the soft start rv and you only want to get two you and you don't want to wire them yourself and you're paying someone it's probably about even to just get the soft start up both products work the same but you may not want to climb up on your roof. You may be afraid of heights. You may not want to touch electricity. Some people don't want to mess around with, with electrical Wiring. circuits, and, and I understand that. So this is just an easier way, and we actually like it better, too. I and mean, we all love plug and play, right? Yeah, it's just literally plugging it in like you'd plug in any device. And it will work if you have one, two, or three air conditioners. Right. I really think it's a must-have, particularly if you are needing to use your rig in your driveway or stay with friends. I mean, think about the money you'd save if you know that you can visit friends, stay in their driveway, and still run an air conditioner. Mm -hmm. So you can buy this with no risk because they give you a 90-day return if you don't like it. And there is a two-year warranty plus free shipping in U.S. and Canada. Now use our special link to get the best prices on Soft Start RV or the new Soft Start Plug and Play Soft Start Up. And let us know how you like your soft startup and any tips that you have to beat the heat. And we'll see you out there.